Hi guys and welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about self-watering systems. Uh, first of all, we have to say why should we have self-watering systems? And I think a lot of you is going to tell me, uh, but of course we, we don't want to water as often as we have to in a normal pot. And that's one reason, but that's not the biggest reason. Because you have a problem. Every time you pick up some sort of container and fill it up with soil and try to plant something in a container, you have a problem. And the biggest problem is actually water. And in the end, it's not even the water, it's actually the lack of air. Let me, let me tell you how I'm thinking. Um, in nature, nature has solved this in a quite an genius way. Because when it rains in nature, it falls on the ground, it goes through the soil, and the soil sucks up as much as it can, but then all the excess water goes down to the ground water and goes away. So, when you put something in a container, that doesn't happen. You have the soil in your container, you water the plant, it goes down, but then it stays here. You have no groundwater here that can pick it up and take it away. And the soil then can continue to suck up this water. And it will suck until it gets really, really, really wet. And what it actually had, has done then, it's taken away the air in the soil. And replaced it with water. And the plants won't like that, because without air, the plants or the roots will die and the plant will die. So that is a problem. But one way of solving it is by using a self-watering system. Uh, and there is an easy way to make this. Uh, everybody can make it. You just have to have a PET bottle like this. You have to have some... Uh, and this is just uh, some uh, fiber cloth uh, used for cleaning uh, that I've cut up in a strip. Uh, and you need some soil, of course. So the easiest way to make a self-watering pot is just to take the PET bottle and cut it. And you should cut it almost in the middle. And divide it into two parts. Then you take the cap of the bottle here and make a hole in it and that hole should just be as big as you can get this cloth through it so you make the hole and you draw the cloth through it now I have prepared this actually so we have one here now this is not the most beautiful way to put a, a plant in a pot but it actually works and it works just as fine as anything you can buy so here we have it. We have the PET bottle that has been cut into, in approximately half. And then I have turned around the part where you have the cap. The cap I made a hole in and put the, the fiber cloth through. And it actually goes up to exactly where the plant uh, was when I planted it. So the, the microfiber cloth goes up to around here. What happens now is that when I water the plant, if I water up here, it's going to go through the soil and it's going to fall out of the hole in the bottom. So it's going to end up in this container. But the microfiber cloth is going to suck up water and add moisture to the soil. This means that the soil is not going to get too wet. It's only going to get uh, evenly wet, so to speak. Uh, and the, the plant is going to love it. This plant has actually been standing in this container for approximately six months. Uh, so it's been living here. And I have filled up water only in the bottom and I filled it up to approximately where the cap is uh, once a month. So that's it. 
Now, as I said, this is not a beautiful container, so, uh, but you could hide this inside of a pot or you could uh, maybe wrap, wrap some cloth around it or whatever works in your home. But the, the important thing here is that this shows exactly what the problem is and how to solve it. Now there is another way to make a self-watering system uh, that has actually been used for many, many years. My experience is uh, as an indoor landscaper for approximately soon 20 years. And uh, this system is actually being used by companies today as well. We are not using it. I'm going to show you later on what we are using. But this system also really works and it's fairly simple to make. All you need is some sort of pot or container. Uh, this one is uh, of glass, so you're going to see what happens inside. It can be any type of pot. Uh, the, the most important thing is that it's sealed off. There are no holes in the bottom. You also need some uh, microfiber cloth uh, used for cleaning. Uh, now I've cut out two, one strip like this and one that is round, it is exactly or a little bit bigger than the bottom of the pot. Then you use some kind of leka or granulates in English and the only thing this is going to do is to separate the soil from the water. So in the bottom you will have a water compartment so to speak. So I'll just take the pot and I'll add the granulates. And here you can actually choose how large you want this compartment of water to be. The more granulates you add, the more water you will be able to fill in the bottom. Uh, now, I take the cloth here and I see that this goes all the way down to the bottom of the pot. It needs to go all the way down, otherwise it's not going to suck up the water that is in the bottom. There you go. Now, if you look outside, you see that this uh, microcloth is all the way down. And then to separate the granulates from the soil, I add this round cloth. And you need to see to it that the soil can't get down to the granulates because then you will spoil the whole system. But the important thing here is that the other piece of cloth I have here is still going up. Then you take your soil and add to the bottom. like that, and you take a plant. And you plant it. Now, before you put down the plant, you put this piece of cloth uh, from the side down to the earth. Now, you want this to have contact with the roots of the plant you're going to put down. So it needs to be in between the soil you have put in and the new plant, like that. Then you add some more soil. So now you can see that I have separated the plant and the soil from the granulates in the bottom, but they are connected with this piece of cloth. 
So now when I water this plant, the water is going to be sucked up by the roots and all the access is going to go through the separation cloth here and down to this compartment. And therefrom, the water is going to be sucked up again by the piece of cloth that is in between them. But the big difference here with this separation is that it's only going to be a little bit of the water at a time that can be sucked up. So the soil here is not going to get very wet, which means that the roots are still going to have air around them. Now this is a very simple way and can be made from window pots. It can also be made in large urns for, uh, on the floor um, to every kind of container you have. And it really works. So, you can make it yourself, the self-watering system, or you can buy it finished, complete, completed. Now what's the difference, really? You see here a variety of different types of uh, self-watering systems. They come in different shapes and sizes, but the system is really exactly the same as the ones we have created together. Um, and it is a way of separating the plants and the soil from the water. In this case, they do it in plastic instead of with the microfiber cloth. So when I plant in this inside container and put it down in the outside container like this, it's going to separate the water from the soil and the plant. However, in this case, you have some kind of way for the water to get up to the soil. Uh, and they, in this system, they have used a plastic uh, that goes down in the water. And as the same way as the small strip of uh, fiber cloth, reduces the amount of water that can go up into the soil, you have the same way here, because it's only a little bit of the soil that comes in contact with the water. Now they have added something in this construction, and that is something called volcanic rock. Uh, and what you do with this is that you add this to the inside pot like this. This actually helps us to have this in the bottom of the pot before we start planting. Because the volcanic rock it can only keep around 30% of its own volume of water. And then it drops the water back. So, in this com little compartment that is going to suck up the water, we have the volcanic rock. Now that can only suck up a, a certain amount of water before it lets it down again, which is going to reduce the amount of water uh, further that comes up into the soil. So it's actually just helping us. It's creating the same thing as the small strip we had in our own kind of um, self-watering system. There are other ways. It's the same manufacturer in this case, but they have another system for this kind of pot that is higher. Now you have an insert and you plant, you plant it in the insert plastic. Close. Um, um, and instead of using plastic small containers that are going down to the water, they have a nylon rope. And this acts exactly like our fiber cloth does. Um, it's going to suck up a certain amount of water to the soil. But you have a clear department for the water and a clear department for the soil. Now, which one of these systems is the best? Uh, I would say they are equally good. The difference may be that the, the ones that are made in a factory in plastic are going to uh, survive 
a couple of more years than this system because the cloth that divides here is eventually going to uh, break apart. Um, the water and the soil is going to decompose it and uh, it's going to break apart. Uh, however, in both systems, the roots are going to go down into the water. And I'm going to show you that. This is a Hoya plant that actually comes from my own home. And uh, this has been standing in this self-watering pot for approximately 10 years. I have never repotted it. Uh, it is planted in volcanic rock in the inside pot. No soil, just volcanic rock. And it looks like this after 10 years. As you can see here, the roots are going down through the small holes that, you, that the system is using to transport the water down to the water compartment. And there, there they have gathered in the water. Now what the plant does is that it makes itself, it makes the roots what we call water roots. These roots don't need that much air as the roots inside of the soil or the volcanic rock does. So these roots don't, don't care that they don't get any air. But they get air in this part instead. So here we don't only have it, we can't even see the, the nylon rope anymore. It, it is actually totally covered in uh, roots. Uh, but here the plant has found a system where it can, uh, its own watering system, where it can get the water for itself. Now that is also going to happen in our own system we have here. The roots are going to go down and get past the, the microfiber cloth and down to the water. And there it will make water roots. So this, which one is the best? Uh, it's equally good but you have the advantage in plastic that it's going to last for a long period of time. So thank you for listening. Uh, I hope you understand the self-watering system, how it works. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give, it, give them to us and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, we put out new videos all the time, so please watch them and enjoy. So for this time, hey dog.